complex special products. Oh boy! Yeah, all right, we could do it like that. Or, um, how about we just do it like this? All right, complex special products. Oh boy! What do you need to know? You need to know, um, I squared evaluates to minus one. And then after that, all you gotta do, first inner, outer, last. All right, let's get on into this example. Mm, yeah, all right, let's go ahead and foil. Ha <laughs> ha, foiled again. The four times the four is 16. All right, then that four times the nine is a minus 36 I, 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 and then I enter. All right, and then that's a plus 36 I, 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 and then finally I last. That's minus 81 I squared. But that's gonna evaluate to minus one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that right there. So that's 81 times what? That's 81 times that minus one fun. Now what? Oh man, look at that. 36 I and minus 36 I. Fight! Uh, uh, oh, they're gone. Out of here. Yeah. And then I'm just going to bring down that 16. 16, now what? Everything's real. Oh my gosh, there it is. Everything's real. Everything's real. Everything's real. That's going to be important later when we're trying to rationalize complex denominators. But for now, that's 16 plus 81. Oh boy. There's a 7. Is it really 97? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whoa! Box and flower. But wait, what happens over here? Yeah, one more. There you go. Click. Boom! Ah, yes. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We could use complex special forms, but, um, yeah, your book might not even have these. That's how, um, not that we're gonna do this. Yeah, okay, so when you see that, then you know this, um, yeah, okay, so x squared, that's x times x. Oh, sure it is. So this is a minus 3 plus a 4i times a minus 3 plus a 4i. Ay, ay, ay. And you want to do it like that so that you don't miss some terms when you foil. First, inner, outer, last. Yeah. All right. Now I'm on right here. Whoa, that wants to get out. But we're dealing with you. All right, so then the first, the minus 3 times the minus 3 is 9. Fine. And then I'm going to add it to that minus 3 times that 4i. What'd you call me? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yeah, Um. so that's, um. oh, that's not even plus at all. So we're going to be plus a minus 12i, and then i do that inner product, which is again a minus 12i. Then i finally multiply those last, and that's a 16i squared that evaluates to minus 1. So I'm going to get it in there, right there, right there. Okay, so that's a minus 1. Why you turn green? I thought you were going to go off uh, white. That's that 16 on that left. Oh boy. Okay, so then then what? Why are you going backwards? I don't know. 12 and 12 is 24. Boom. I, I, I. And then um, I'm going to bring out that 9. Because right now it doesn't have anything to multiply by. But oh, that's a minus 16. So, ooh, shoot. I dropped that. Whoa, got it back. Okay, yeah. So, oh, it's all hairy. Jesus. You should probably clean up around here. This is 9. Uh-huh. And then, whoa, there it goes again. I can't go down there again. Oh, I'm getting old. It's hard to get back up. You're just out. All right, so then that's a minus 16 there. Okay, I went on step on it. Rolling ankle. Oh, no! What are you going to do? I, I, I. Dun -dun, dun -dun. Yeah. 